What it do y'all, it's Top Media TV coming back at y'all with another video. Make sure y'all don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Make sure y'all don't forget to drop a comment below y'all. We back with another one. Little clip about Big U and a documentary he put out a while back. And the allegations of him, you know, setting up Nipsey Hussle. And his murder hit. Of course, Big U's own family members, his son included, was threatened and also harassed. About his father being behind the murder of Nipsey. But check this out, y'all. It can take life. I don't even address the internet shit, bro. That's what I would say. He's like, really to keep 100 because niggas can get behind his keyboards and say and do the most yeah. asinine, silly shit that they want to. What I don't do is I don't address nothing that's said on the internet. I see that, but it is the thing with me, right, is that after a while, though, the reason it's the way it is now on the internet because nobody's being disciplined. It's hard to discipline. You got a thousand motherfuckers to create the narrative. And they only create the narrative because they can make money off of it. Big U is very fucking suspect. I myself believe that he has played a major role in Nipsey's untimely death. I know a motherfucking hit when I see one. This shit is a straight hit. And Big U was all in it. I feel like that nigga Big U did it. <laughs> That's what it was. Because Nipsey was really the face of the sickness. Niggas really do be jealous. And they really will kill you. Because you're doing something. I gotta go. Mom, where's dad? It's like, yeah, at home. What's wrong? Do you know what they're saying on social media? And I'm like, no. He was like, they saying that dad has something to do with Nipsey being killed. Then I got a 13-year-old at school, and I'm worried about her and what people are saying. So that, you know, that kind of came in my house and messed up my family. The theories got so crazy where they put you as right. a conspirator of killing them. Which is the dumbest shit in the world, you know what I'm saying? Tonight, after an aggressive all-out manhunt, authorities say they've captured 29-year-old Eric Holder, the prime suspect in the murder of rapper Nipsey Hussle. It's obvious that you and Nip were on good terms when he died. How did this conspiracy theory with you, know, man, how did it take a life selling, like that? It's about selling numbers. I'm not going to explain to nobody else. All these weirdos pop up out of nowhere with different stories to say all this. I don't want to explain myself to nobody. What y'all think, man? That was a little clip on... Big U and the conspiracy theorists accusing Big U of, you know, setting up the murder of Nipsey also. It went so bad as to his family member, his son, was actually harassed in school, I guess, as y'all heard from his wife. You know, but also this female right here, who's supposedly an ex-crip who worked with Nipsey also, seems to implicate Big U and say that Big U was actually the dude who had set up Nipsey or he could be possibly... One of the dude who set up Nipsey Hustle. People know the truth, but um, I mean, sometimes, you know, you can't, they can't really say the truth or, you know, but honestly, just it's like a secret society. Are you saying that someone other than the police and Eric yeah. Holder? Yeah. Orchestrated it's gonna this. Get, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. There was a lot more people involved. What does that mean? <laughs> You're not a part of the secret society. <laughs> That's what it means. You're yeah. not a part of the secret society. Yeah, but it's not as it seems. Nah. Because out of the kind of conspiracies, I suppose, it was jealousy with Eric Holder. It was jealousy him. with everybody, and you then, know? And then there's the police did it, which kind of seems potentially right. far-fetched. I don't know. But yeah. And then there's... That big you did it, his kind of old manager. Yeah, and nothing happens unless there's permission, there's, you know, an okay there, so I and just... And is big you big enough to do that? He has the, the name, he has the means, so, I mean, makes sense. He's not the only person with money, though, you know? He's not the only person who has, you know, the reputation, but at the end of the day... Why would somebody of that ilk do something like that? They don't like when they're not in charge anymore. Or, you know, when the younger people aren't following them anymore and they're following you now. Or, you know, even Nipsey now. You know, they don't like that. So, it's like... And you could die for that? Yeah, you could absolutely die for that. I mean, if the right person is jealous enough... You want to... They created talking about my name and 
this dude, Eric Holden. Look at this text message. Well, I ain't killed Nipsey and I had nothing to do with it because I wouldn't have benefited from Nipsey. I create my own, I do my own, and I created Nipsey. Check your stats, silly ass niggas. So let me know what y'all think, man. That was that female, allegedly ex crip who worked with Nipsey Hussle at one point in his life, saying that Biggie you could be responsible along with anybody else who might have felt jealous of him. But this is one of the text messages back in 2019 that made people believe that it was Big U who was responsible. Actually goes on to say that it was a tweet sent by the CBS Los Angeles saying LAPD confirms murder suspect Eric Holder has been paid to commit this murder by suspect that is wanted by the street name Big U. Nipsey also spouse Lauren London has out has out together a 50k reward if you have any information about Big U which is one of the fake messages that was made that made people think initially that Big U might have had a hand in Nipsey's death either way man let me know what y'all think man make sure y'all don't forget to like and subscribe hit the notification bell drop a comment below top media y'all peace